welcome to my channel. Now I have um, one more to show you. Um, I have pre-sliced this open. Well, I, I say one more. I have a DAC to show you. All right, it is a piece. There's no point in me hiding um, pictures. This really um, reminded me, I guess, of me kind of, you know, the redhead teenager with the oversized clothes and the scarves and all of that kind of fun stuff as a teenager. I'm poking the brand probably as well. Okay. So we have the toolkit and sticky. And the drill. Alright, it's a square. It is 46 by 61, so it's kind of a baby in comparison to what I have been getting with the 50 things by 71 kind of sizes. All right, we'll put the drills aside just for a second. It's square, so you get a square kit. The square kit includes the tweezers. The tweezers, be very careful, they are dangerous. I'm just squeezing the air out of the bag. I'm not gonna take it out. We've got more bags than we've been getting. The, some of the kits have been quite light on with bags. Two wax, there is a squishy under there as well. There is the tweezers, which is pointy and sharp as all hell. Be careful. Blue pen and your clear tray. Try not to make too much noise next to the mic with that. Okay, now I'm going to peel this back because it's a little bit over curved and see if we can get it to relax. This is how you relax your stickers. It works on the diamond paintings. It works on the stickers. The only thing that I'm a little bit more wary of is this is not exactly a tacky sticker so I do worry that when I peel it off it means it's less likely to stay stuck but so far so good and I store them flat in folders like school folders as well so there's added incentive to stay stuck and flatten it over a little bit of time so there she is um, you know, the chunky scarf, the poking the bug and the long red hair. Although my hair was not long for quite a while. It has 1AB. Again, as always, I am scanning just to double check that they haven't hidden one. Lots and lots of ambers, yellows, oranges in this. The 1AB looks like a pale yellow and there are 40 colours in this square. Okay, we'll get the canvas out and resting. Ooh, it's not stuck. I love it when they do that. Oh, that's a treat. I like it when it's just tucked. Hang on, go the other way. All right. So yeah, you're looking at a 40 by 60. It's a great size. It's square, so the details are still gonna be there. And here we go. All right, now this is one of the newer kits. So I'm really pleased that they're tucking in. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing. This is one of the new kits. I don't know if I've got many of these, many, any. I don't know if I've got these in with the details. So the artist is Bailey J. Brazo. It's a 46 by 61, it's Diamond Art Club. You've got the details there at piece. You have your 10% um, off code here. You have Facebook, you have Instagram. Proudly use the Diamond Art Club hashtag. Proud of your masterpiece? Use the Diamond Art Club master, um, hashtag. Share your work, please, on um, all things Instagram. If you need any help, it comes with a lifetime guarantee and free missing drills if you purchase directly from Diamond Art Club. If you repurchase, you don't get the guarantee. Now, I'm not sure what's happening with that guarantee because they are now selling Diamond Art Club in Hobby Lobby in the States. Um, I don't know if it's the only store that they're going to be doing just yet, but I know that Hobby Lobby currently have them in stock. I have seen photos on the Facebook groups. Now, the plastic has gone to um, the edge on there. You have the inventory down the bottom and the inventory up the top with no thumbnail. Interesting, the thumbnail might be down the bottom. Either way, I'm gonna relax that just for a second. We'll get the drills out and we'll take a look where we're at. Okay, 
And while I'm doing that, I'll show you this. This was one of the diamond um, ruby bonuses that they were giving out way back. And this is one of the pens from the, um, the thank yous that they were giving. And this is one of the other options. This is a blue cloudy pen in the um, swirly resin pen finish. So it's got the butt end. There is a three placer down the bottom of the bag. Three? No, sorry, six. Six placer down the bottom of the bag. If you're interested in one of these pens, they do retail on the site and you can select which pen you would like. I have one more, I think, coming. The blue and red one. Um, now, there is only one thing. These are slightly curved in a wonky way. You can see it's it's kind of got that curve around the back. Um, I have a bit of a lag between my recording and my viewing. So I'm just going to keep going because it's been a douche and hopefully it will work out okay and there won't be any lag in the recording itself. All right, let's move those aside and let's get this pretty girl. Okay. I don't know that I've got any work of um, Jay, Bailey, Bailey Jay. I don't know if I've got any of her other artwork. I know she has done some cartooning or kind of drawings before and I think the girls have done colouring um, that you might see in or around some of the youtube kind of stuff. So there she is. Um, her face is a little bit scary in this picture. It doesn't look so scary in the image in this. The smile has more of the shading, so it's yeah, it just looks very distinctive here in the squares. Lots of detail having the squares. Now, the uh, there is no thumbnail picture on this. There is just the inventory on both sides. Um, the first one, number one, is your AB. Sorry, brain fart. Um, I'm looking for ones. So there's a one, and there's a couple of ones here couple of ones here, lots up here and in here. So you're looking at the dappled light behind her through the trees. There's no highlights in her hair. There are some ones down here in the dapple and that's pretty much it. Okay, so the dappled light and then you've got little bug down here. I do like how Diamond Art Club have these almost bursts of light. It's yeah, it's um kind of seems how artistic the people doing the um, rendering are, and that they're not just plonk a color here, plonk a color there. They they really do think um, through what they're doing. Um, let's have a look at the drills. Okay, this is 3855, so it's a pale orange. Okay, 947, that is a vibrant whack in the face with the hair of this chick, orange. This is like Ranga orange hair, which is what I used to have. Now it's a little bit blonder. It goes dark in the winter, but yeah, it's pretty blonde at the moment. Um, 35, I think it's an 8, 358. No, it's 356. Three, the dot is very, very close and it looks like potentially an 8. It's a less vibrant orange, but it's still vi orange. Another kind of tone in the orange, 3854, kind of orangey yellow. 402, again, two of those. Oop, bit of a tear. I'll try and go easy with the bags. 727, which is a bright yellow, which is again in that background behind her in the trees. Uh, 3830, which is a dark kind of orange into the pinky kind of range, strangely enough. 743, which is your mustard or yellow. A couple of those. 3778. Another one of, no, hang on. 3776, 3778. So we've got a brown and we've got an orange. They are different. And there is another 3778. Let me just double check. 3776, yes. And then 3778, two of those. 742, which is your orange yellow, and 355, which is your burgundy brown. Let me fold these. Do it once, don't need to do it again. 
Now, 3853. It seems to be quite lacking in colours, but there's 40. Right, 3853, which is your orange. Burgundy, 498. AB is AB, AB. And that is a very pale yellow. It's gorgeous. And the AB is true to colour. You can see it glimmer there um, next to it. So it's a true colour change. So it's just going to set off that dappled light in the background. 321 is your rich red. Um, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it going, that seems very dark from what I'm used to. It might just be me and the lighting and everything else. 666, which is our solid red. 741, which is your orange. Six, sorry, 814, which is your burgundy. 937, which is your muddy green. 437, which is an orange. 3064, which is a pale brown. Um, 3771 which is a peach kind of peachy pink 3346 which is green uh, which is probably the bug green or maybe her jumper even um, we haven't got to her jumper colours yet uh, 935 oh here comes Sophie jabbering away 436 which is your orange and 740 which is your orange orange so lots of oranges in here careful Sophie don't touch the keyboard Right now, seven three eight, which is a pale uh, brownie orange, which would be the ground. Three five two, which is a kind of salmony pink. Uh, three eight two four, which is another pale pink. Three five one, which is a richer pink. Three three four seven, again we're kind of getting into the buggy kind of colours and her jumper. 3777, which is a burgundy brown. 3823, which is a pale yellow, which is the foundation color by the look of it for the AB. Very, very close for that. So if they're sitting next to each other, they're going to very much complement, but they are different. There is a different tonal quality. So it's not quite it. Um, 726 which is a bright bright yellow very strong yellow and the shimmer of these is incredible 934 which is a muddy dark green so it's like a black green black um 350 which is a deep orange whoa like you're going to be using three drills of this 739 this tiny amount 3371 which is your muddy brown and 3772 which is a brown I wonder where the 3371 would be maybe her socks it's quite dark but there's not much dark in there or maybe in um just tucked in under her scarf or that stick not in the place but uh, all right there you go look at those colors they are just popping in the yellow orange range if you like your yellow and orange range uh, this is definitely the one for you. Um, I didn't make a note of colour blocking, so hang on. Colour blocking in this baby. Um, yeah, not really. It's not... Disrespectful confetti is probably respectful confetti. There is some blocking here. More vertical blocks than horizontal blocks. Um, you've got some chunks here. But um, bottom, there's a fair bit of blocking here. This is all one colour. And then you've got another colour and it kind of ripples out from there. But yeah, that's... Um, that's not too bad. It's not too um, crazy a uh, confetti. So this would actually be a nice painting to do up. Um, and yeah, if you have the redhead teenager, the, the kind of nature lover, that kind of thing, might be the kind of thing that you could do quite easily. Sorry, excuse my kid. She's touching stuff that's going to get her into trouble in the kitchen. My husband is making our burgers. So potentially fingers could have got chopped off. 
safety first. All right. Um, if you have enjoyed this, there is also a Diamond Art Club playlist if you want to check out what the other things in the catalogue are. So this is a Bailey J. What was it, her name? Bailey. Oh, it's down the other end. Uh, Bailey Jane Burrow. Juro. Was it Juro? Bailey J. Oh. Brazo. Brazo. So she's maybe French Canadian. I don't know. I don't know anything about her. Um. So Bailey J. Br Brazo. Um, if you're interested, um, I haven't paid attention. Not to say that there aren't more of her work there, but I haven't paid attention. And I'm not sure if at piece is in stock. If it's not in stock and it says it's out of stock, um, please put your email down so that you get the restock notice. If it is in stock or it's available on pre-order, you can buy it straight away. You pay for it and it will be delivered in whatever monthly time that they actually give you. So they will tell you if it's going to ship in I was going to say July, but July is gone. August is nearly gone too. Um, so if it's going to ship in September or October, it will give you that notification saying when you can expect it to be shipped. So you can order on pre-order now for a couple of months time. It just means that it's on a slow boat from China to get to the US warehouses where they will then sort it and send it out lovingly to you in your gorgeous Diamond Art Club box. And you will not regret it. The Diamond Art Club canvases are just beautiful. Um, they've got the flock backing if you're not used to it. They've got the serrated um, serged edges that seal it. You know, basically the diamond drills are pretty specky. Uh, everything is just top notch. And if there is a problem, contact Diamond Art Club. They are more than willing to help people who have a problem and are happy to discuss everything else. They do have pens on the site as well. Check out the pens and um, the extras. The bag is also still available. Um, you can now purchase them. They were a free gift when they came out. You could choose one as a diamond member, diamond ruby, whatever. Um, now they are available for sale. So it was a thank you from DAC when, um, well, not when COVID hit started, but it came, they released them as COVID started and then stock ran out because people were getting um, stuck in home and not able to get out and about. So diamond painting just skyrocketed and that's why the stock levels are still reasonably low. China's getting back up on its feet. The rest of the world is getting back up on its feet. It's just a little bit slower. The new boxes though ship, when they ship next to no time, they're using DHL, international shipping. The cap limit is down to $75 US to purchase to get free shipping. Use your discount codes. Speaking of discount, use my referral code, please in the description it will give you 15 percent off now it's not an affiliate or anything else but by you using my reference code i get ten dollars coupon so we both win on that but make sure that you're not paying full price for anything on diamond art club there are discount codes available if you're brand new to diamond art club there are some really really good ones that are 20 percent off normally they're about 10 15 percent off and if you are a member of the Crafters Anonymous group um, with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. They have a craft code as well, so you can use the craft code. But hey, if you can, you know, benefit from the 15% off and you want to benefit me with the $10 voucher, that'd be awesome, because I love Diamond Art Club. Um, all right, I'll let you go. Um, I will see you around on the tubes. Thank you for joining me. Please click like, subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And I will see you around on the tubes. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.